All right, we're going to translate the fourth clue now. Uh, let's get started. Um, let's go here. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so not me. <laughs> I'm terrible with fashion. I mean, look at me. I got this weird plaid getup. Oh, wait. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Who am I to talk about my fashion troubles? Awesome. Here's a chiroglyph. My mom does not know what to do with no me. Way. Okay, four twentieths equals what? Okay. You are right. You are so right. You are so right. Right. Could you like totally handle this for me? <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, that's not it. Oh, that's the first I time I get. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That is going to make the most totally stunning outfit. That fabric is like so in. Uh, that was my last hieroglyph. I am so bummed. Okay, that's probably the first time I got something, got a wrong answer on this puzzle. <laughs> I did that on a whim, okay? I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> or, uh, actually, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so we're going to have to find the least common den denominator later. Hey, anyone remember that from school? <laughs> I do, but some of my friends don't. Busy, busy, busy. We have a shipping business to run. Yeah, and I have to um, play cashier at the restaurant or something. And it's not fun. This continent does not order on, oh no, border on the Pacific or Indian Oceans. This continent borders on the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, okay. Um. Are you sh oh, I think it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> I'd like to go there. You are such a help to me. It. Oh, so, we're lo so now we're looking at population. Well, I suppose this map isn't that accurate now since, you know, more people. You know what I mean? Okay, this country has population between 10 and 100 million. This country shares a border with Paraguay. Alright. 10 and 100 million. We're looking for a purple country. Purple. Okay. Um, Sending it there. Interesting. Your skill is exceptional. I guess I should have known it was a, like a bigger country. More, more, more. Will these customers never stop clamoring? I wouldn't stop clamoring if my package didn't arrive on time. <laughs> Uh, uh, I blame the um, delivery service. This city in between the is in between the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea. This city is northeast of Athens. Athens is Greece, of course. Yay. Istanbul. Wasn't there a song about that somewhere? You are such a help to me. Oh. 
now we're talking about climate here. Okay. Um. Oh, can someone not lecture me on global warming, please? I'd rather not talk about that. This U.S. state has most sub mostly subarctic and tundra climate zones. This state is the northernmost state of the United States. Of course, it's Alaska. I'll never forget when I raised my hand in class about the question of what was the latest. Uh, more, more, more. Will these customers <clears throat> never stop clamoring? Actually, never mind. All right, let's see. Um, this continent has the largest desert area. This continent is east of the Atlantic Ocean. Interesting. Yeah, Africa. This Sahara Desert is pretty huge. This continent has a large tundra era area. This continent does not border on the Indian Ocean. I'm guessing it's talking about uh, uh, North America. <laughs> I almost thought it was Asia. <laughs> okay. This country gets 20 to 20, 20 to 80 inches of rain per year. This country is landlocked. Oh, so we're looking at uh, precip precipitation again. Okay. Um, 20 to 80. So we're looking at like a light green to a dark green. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. Yeah, the Central African Republic. I think that's the center of African um, government, I think. This is the highest mountain peak in South America. This mountain is in Argentina. Oh, so now we're looking at mountains. Mount Aconcagua. I hope I spelled, pronounced that right. Just so you know, the Spanish word for mountain is montaña. I'm all out of hieroglyphs, but I could still use your help. Wait, montaña. Yeah, <laughs> gotta say it right for my Spanish friends out there. Okay, um, next one. Looks fun. All right. What was the name of the serpent used by Ra against the pet? Oh, I got a text. Oh, it's my. <laughs> Apparently it was just a Twitter update. Never mind. All right. Uh, what was the name? Okay. Ra was confident that his plan to ward off the evil serpent of Pep would work. Crawled asleep atop the deck of the house of his boat was another serpent known as Mahen. Ra made sure all of his crew stayed off the deck that night as he made his way through the underworld. When a Pep struck, Mahen awoke. Anger that his sleep had been disturbed. Apep and Mahen fought a fierce battle until Ra's boat emerged safely from the darkness. Hmm. A battle between snakes, huh? I love to see that. <laughs> In the new, like, Egyptian themed film coming up soon. And I think it's, like, supposed to be, like, um, something. Uh, 
Egypt had rulers for how many years before the name Pharaoh was used? Many think that all ancient Egyptian rulers were called Pharaohs. Actually, that name was not used until the 18th dynasty. At that time, the Egyptians began to refer to their ruler by the name of his, his palace, Perot. Perot means big house. In the stories of the Bible, Egyptian rulers are called pharaohs. That is why some people think all ancient Egyptian rulers were called pharaohs. Actually, there were rulers in Egypt for a thousand years before people began to use the name pharaoh. Oh, a thousand years, okay. That's good to know. And now, how about this one? Near which river did the Egyptians live? Oh, of course. It's the Nile. Everyone knows that. The rising and setting of which heavenly body was used to tell time? The sun. But of course. Wait. <laughs> Look for two cups that add up to the correct answer. Oh, yes. Socrates is always helpful. All right. 10 times 12 equals 120. So, let's see. Um, 120. Oh, I think I know what it is. Ha, clever. Sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. More coffee? This stuff flows like the Nile. Seven times five equals thirty-five, right? Yeah. Let's see. Um, um Hmm. 24 plus 14, that's 38. No, that won't do. Um, uh, it's pointless to guess, so I guess... Um, uh, did I just refute myself? Uh, okay. Oh, cool. Of course, sir. Uh, wake up, kids. Here we go again. Oh, now we're doing division now. Interesting. 35. Oh, that's 7. That is totally 7. Let's do 3 cups this time. Let's get back to that antique dealer again. <laughs> Find the children, follow them. When the time is right, take the ring and bring it to me. Now go. The time is fast approaching. Soon the whole world will know the name. Alistair Loveless the third. <laughs> hey, here's looking at you, Megatron. <laughs> so, we're going to have those two blue thugs coming after us now. That's wonderful. As if that cat wasn't scary enough. A 
I guess we're gonna be followed. Ah, I keep doing that. gonna get really interesting okay after this we're going to translate the fifth and final clue Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 